What's up guys, my name is Trey, I'm with Smart Home Starter and today I want to talk to you about if you're seeing a no signal on your Google TV. So this example, I'm running this through a TCL TV. As you can see, it says no signal. I'll give you one really easy thing to check and then uh, we'll go a little bit deeper. The first thing is with your remote, okay, this is a TCL TV, you're gonna find the input button. Okay, here's mine. And we're just gonna tap it to make sure, first of all, that we are on the right source. So um, on this specific TV, you can see HDMI 2 and HDMI 3, they're grayed out. That means there's nothing there. But if I go over, HDMI 1 has my Apple TV. So if I select that, it's gonna pull up my Apple TV and it's gonna fix that issue. Show you again, open this up and run through it. Now, if you know that let's say your Apple TV or whatever device, your Roku, your Google uh, Chromecast is on HDMI 2, but it's not showing here, what we need to do, let me turn this around. Hopefully you can see this. You need to check that the HDMI right here is in and it's snug, it's in there properly. We wanna to check to make sure that it's connected properly to our device here. We also wanna make sure that the HDMI cable itself has no signs of wear and tear. Now I like this one and these little fine uh, Velcro things so that I can hide my wires. In fact, I'll put these, both of these in the description in case you wanna grab them. And then my uh, Apple TV. Here, you're gonna to wanna to check to make sure that, the, oops, there is a power indicator. There's a little bit of a light that says that this device is on and working. So, you know, if it's a Roku, it's in the front. Um, if it's a Google Chromecast, I can't remember where it's at, but there's gonna be some visual indicator that lets you know that the device is working. We just need to make sure that it's connected properly through HDMI and that our HDMI cord is still in good shape. Now, if none of that works, we're just gonna have to go ahead and reset or restart the TV. We can start with a soft reset and that is as simple as unplugging the TV for a minute and plugging it back in. A lot of times that is gonna help dissipate some of the electrical current charge that's built up that could be causing a disturbance. If that doesn't work, we're gonna have to do a full reset of the TV. And to do that, factory reset, we'll go to our all settings here. We're gonna scroll down to system, we'll open that up and we'll go all the way down to restart. So we'll restart it. So I apologize. This is just a restart. This is not gonna lose your, your settings, right? But it is going to turn the, computer, the TV completely off and back on. The factory setting or factory reset is where you lose everything. And then puts it back to one that was uh, uh, brand new, for better or for worse. While this loads, I will say that this TV, I think it was like 300 bucks at Costco. And I, I think it's a really great TV for um, the cost. I have a, like a 1500 Samsung TV at my house. This one, honestly, better. I'll also put this link in the description too. Okay, so now after the restart, the next step is obviously the uh, factory reset. And to do that, we're gonna go back to all of our settings right here. And then we'll scroll down to system. We'll run to the about section here and we will hit this reset button here. And you'll see the factory reset there. Now, of course that's the nuclear option. I hate the factory reset stuff because I always forget my passwords, but if you need to do it, you need to do it. So that is all we have. Hope it helps. If it does, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.